the first quarter of 2020, more or less, or the first two months were really hot in multiple offer situations. And then it kind of cooled down. So yeah, January 2020 was a really hot year. 2021 was off the charts and 2022 for sure was even hotter than that. And these years actually represent some of the highest number of transactions that we had in TREP. And now that in 2022, we had all these interest rate increases. And now that the market is kind of settled and declined in 2023, it's no surprise that it was the worst January since 2019. Live behind decisions I chose. Peaks feel good and the valleys get low. Chains for the tires and the rain, hell snows. Like this everywhere that I go, everywhere that I go. Everybody, it's Hussein Kabani, your favorite broker. And we're sitting here mid-February 2023, and I want to give you guys a bit of an update on what's happening in the market right now. What I actually wanted to look at was, is that what are the raw sales from January 2022 to 23? And obviously you guys by now know I'm a Durham guy. So of course we touched Toronto and York region and other areas, but I really wanted to focus on Durham right now. Basically what I noticed over here is, is that in Pickering alone, we basically had about a 17% decline in overall sales. Okay. So 17% decline in overall sales which was basically almost a 30% decrease in uh, average price. The interesting thing I found about Pickering also was there's some proof over here, I think that we're moving more towards mid and high density residential, okay? Because uh, land is obviously limited and stuff like that. And we are seeing a lot more of that infrastructure coming in that supports mid and high density. And the example was, is that we basically saw the increase in units. So condo apartments, we basically saw a 23% increase in sales, which basically is not massive. It was four units more, but it shows up as 23%, right? 17 units last year versus 21 units this year. So we had a big gain in that. The bigger one I would say was, is that the condo townhouses. So the condo townhouses last year in January, we had 13 units that sold. And right now we had 19 units that sold. So which represents about a 46% increase. But guess what? The price was still down 24%. See, I kind of actually know where these units are. They're kind of in that Duffin Heights area where they are closing a lot of these Averton homes and they're coming up for resale. There's Max Towns that actually did another project over there. So this is that inventory that's actually coming up for resale and that we're seeing there. Overall in Ajax, what we saw was is that there's about a 30% decline in January sales from last year and about a 25% drop in prices from last year. That's right, 25%. We tried to run similar numbers for the first 10 days in like February. And I think we're seeing it pick up a little bit based on the multiple offers that we've had and whatnot. So definitely the sales have been down and the average price is down from last year. And I think that's kind of expected. There was a news article that came out that said that this was the worst January since 2019. And I look at it and I'm like, of course it was. Like you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that thing out like 2020 was a pretty hot year okay for the most part so 2020 was a pretty good year even though that covid kind of kicked in the first quarter of 2020 more or less or the first two months were really hot in multiple offer situations and then it kind of cooled down so yeah january 2020 was a really hot year 2021 was off the charts and 2022 for sure was even hotter than that and these years actually represent some of the highest number of transactions that we had in trep and now that in 2022 we had all these interest rate increases and now that the market is kind of settled and declined in 2023 it's no surprise that it was the worst january since 2019 because 2020 21 and 22 were were rockstar months in january okay so of course there's been a decline right now we're basically sitting at inventory levels in toronto real estate board being just under 10,000 listings available for sale and that's not much of an increase from the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, we had about 8,500 listings available for sale. Now we have just under 10,000. And just to point out that Durham across freehold, uh, condos, everything across Durham, there's less than a thousand listings available for sale. We've seen multiple offers on a lot of these places. I want to say throw out a number and say about 50% of the listings that we've seen have sold in multiple offers so far. Why is that, guys? It's simply because we are sitting at about 10,000 listings, just under 10,000 listings available for sale. It's not incredibly low inventory. It's not critically low, but it is low inventory overall. I want to say that a balanced market is about 18,000 listings available for sale. So we're sitting at 10,000. The other thing also is, is that I think that there has been some confidence injected into the market by the Bank of Canada coming out and saying that there is going to be a conditional pause on interest rate increases. So that's one of the things. The other news that we've also heard about is, is that we could possibly see interest rate decline at the end of the year or the beginning of the year. 
We did open houses this weekend and it was really good to do it because we're getting some raw feedback from people that are actually in the market that we saw buyers that were unrepresented by agents and we're getting their feedback and some of them feel like, hey, we should have actually acted in July. And now that we've seen this hype that we, we regret not acting in July because there has been a bit of a hype and I think that prices have gone up a little bit more. We had an example of a townhouse that we sold last night and it got more than what I think it was gonna actually get. So there has been a little bit of an upward movement in price as well right now. That being said, middle of February, 2023 right now, how long do I think this is actually gonna last? It's a hard thing to say, okay? And we kind of almost taking it by like every two weeks and gauging the information that's out there. So the couple of factors, and we've talked about the same factors before as well is the inventory level. If we all of a sudden see inventory jump up to 14,000 listings from 10,000 listings, of course, that it's going to cause an effect in the market if we continue to somehow see that interest rate is going to go up or it's going to come down that's going to be an affecting factor and it really depends on how many buyers stay on what i think is going to happen is in the next 30 days we're probably going to see a bunch of listings hit the market okay and that's going to be a typical spring thing to do what we see is is kind of around mid-november people are hesitant to put their houses on the market because it's going to get colder christmas time's coming up and people are going to be all over the place so starting mid-november we start to see that people don't list that much the inventory that's available for sale and some listings do come up that actually gets chewed down pretty aggressively so we do usually start off at a lower inventory position in january so that's not a surprise and what we will probably see in this market is we'll probably see inventory start to come onto the market in the next 30 days i think that march april may and into june inventory is going to be coming onto the market and it's going to depend on how the buyers react to it personally the way i think it's going to unfold is is that the bidding wars that we are seeing right now if the inventory does climb to where i think it's going to go I think that maybe we might see the bidding wars kind of subside and we might just kind of start to see a balanced market where it's going to be equal for the buyer and seller to make a transaction. I don't particularly think that this hype is going to continue too much further. I think that we are going to get more listings and I think the hype is going to kind of go away with the multiple offers. Last night, like I said, we were doing multiple offers. We told everyone to register their offer by 5 p.m. We're going to take offers at 6 p.m. Honestly, I'm looking at my clock at 6.15 p.m. and I got two low ball offers and I got one that's a half decent offer. And I'm thinking to myself, like we had 115 showings. The open house was packed completely. I was thinking this was gonna be easier than slicing warm butter. Like I thought we were gonna get 15, 20 offers. We're gonna get crazy amount of offers and people are just gonna be begging to buy this house. Didn't turn out that way. So I don't want to take that as a key indicator of how the market's going to move forward, but it kind of tells me, hey, there was a bit of a weak spot with having that many showings and where my expectations were with what offers we were expecting to get for the property. We still got an awesome number for the house, but it kind of reminds me of February of last year where we kind of started to see the market was going to take a drop. There was one particular uh, listing that we had in Ajax, and that was the point in February, mid to end of February, where we had this listing and our offers started to drop down our showings were dropping down the offers weren't coming in as strong that's the same feeling i had with the one yesterday so if that kind of continues i don't know if we're going to see this hype moving forward anymore who knows at the end of the day guys all i can say is is that look i think you're going to have to make some kind of a move if you are going to be selling your house to buy a bigger house if you're going to be looking to get into the market if you're going to be wanting to buy an investment property I'm not saying to jump in right right now, but what I'm saying is, is that for the next six months, I don't think you can sit on the sideline. Next year, you can't sit on the sideline. I think you're gonna have to make a move one way or the other. It's just whatever the right move is gonna be for you guys. More than happy to talk about your real estate needs and what you guys are thinking about. Feel free to book a little time slot with me where I'll call you and we could discuss any of the questions that you have about real estate with no pressure. How does that sound? Until next time, guys, remember one thing, get Cabani, get sold. Sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sold. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sold. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sold. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sold.